there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. This ain't no fairy tale high school. This ain't no fairy tale story. Everything is real here. LW see black people 98% of the time. You share pain, you share tears. We are lifelong friends forever. Teachers, please close our doors. We are in an active pause. I'm a senior, and it's make or break time for me. I'm about to get ready to leave high school. Y'all going to jail, because y'all in a stolen car. Come on, Roy! Oh! Hey, a little bit. City. I'm Paul Harris right here at the People Station, WOCS 937 FM. Another day, another dollar. I love OW. OW is unknown. People don't know how great OW could be. I like my school. We're not exactly popular. But we're still hanging in there. Like, I'm glad I met OW. Like, I'm glad this is my high school. It's just crazy. Like, I just can't describe it. I think the big word you can say is OW is a family. You know, there's so much excitement that's going on around town. We now have a new principal, Dr. Steven Peters, and he has been asked to come to Orangeburg-Wilkinson at a very critical time when we need to turn things around, when we need to move it forward. Dr. Peters, being the principal at OW, what do you want to build at the high school? Well, I think there's a lot of work to be done. It's not an easy school to run. So many of our public schools have failed they're starting to call public schools failure factories. I think our children deserve more than they're getting, particularly uh, our children of color who come from uh, poverty. This is a high poverty index school. That's correct. OW is a school that also, you know, experienced lots of fighting. I'm told two, three fights a day sometimes. Some of our children go home after school not knowing where they're gonna stay tonight. And there might be a different house three times this week. And the challenge is, can the work be done? What's up? What's up? Well, I should take a picture and send it to your mom. Tell her you're in here using the B word. Don't get it twisted now. Don't let this suit fool you. I go in the hood. I'm from the hood. Ten four. I like that, Cole. I like that. This is Dr. Peters, principal. So we begin today on our quest to be the best 
And as such, we're going to need your cooperation. We are in three critical weeks of school, possibly the most important weeks of this school year as we prepare for testing. Let's make this a fun day, zero drama. What do people expect when people graduate from OW? Not going to college, having, getting somebody pregnant or getting pregnant, um, just going on the job where you're going to have to struggle all your life, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So it's do you just, think if the expectations are low for people, then it's difficult to change? It's not impossible, and I feel like it, they've probably been saying this for years and years, but it does start with ourselves. It starts with our generation, and even if it's just a small portion, then that still matters. We're not just that ratchet school in Orangeburg. We're actually pretty smart kids. My name is Jelena Jones. I'm a senior at Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. I am involved in several clubs and activities that take up much of my time. I do drill team after school. I am in the National Society of Black Engineers. I am a part of National Honor Society. I am in Emeralds of Distinction, which is like a high school sorority. Is there anything you're not, Jelena? Uh, a quitter. <laughs> Pretty sure that most of the people that pass by right now don't even know who I am. I kind of keep to myself. I am beginning the steps to be by myself as an adult. I'm kind of sort of ready for it, but it's like kind of scared at the same time. <laughs> we got the same hairstyle today. <laughs> well, Jelena and I have been friends since sixth grade. We've always pretty much just been the top two in our class. I was about to wear that AI in action. I would describe Jelena as a beautiful person, inside and out. All right, can I have y'all's attention for just a second, please? Please listen up. These are three of the most critical weeks of our whole school year, starting today. No playing, no fighting, serious business. At all the kids fail on purpose. Nobody in the classroom succeeding. Everybody is failing. Everybody's talking about OW, how bad it is, how ratchet it is. We need to make this school what it's capable of being. Work, 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 work. You'll never know. It may work out. Then it may not work out. And then it may work out. So three weeks of straight up business. See y'all later. Appreciate it. uncomfortably quiet and peaceful this morning. Um, I don't know whether it was the announcement this morning seeking their help, but I like it. And I, I'm hoping that it will last and we can ride this three week critical time uh, right into testing. We want to break records. We want higher test scores, we want lower dropout rate. Testing is tied to what people think of our school. I'm Vernon, Vernon Stevens, everybody know me. I'm currently a cheerleader. I'm on the varsity squad. Right, let's go. Be quiet. When you finish, stop talking. You don't have to prove it. We wasn't talking, oh, we, she, you don't have to prove yourself to nobody. My coach, she can be hard on me. But she, I know she loves me, though. She loves all her girls, but I think she loves me more because I'm Vernon, you know. We have our next practice, and you finish something you talk. When I sit you down, I'm going to call your mother for you. Vernon is like my brother slash sister. <laughs> I could ask him for fashion advice. We play makeup together. He's so girly. <laughs> 
stop doing it like you don't even want to do it. If you're going to be absent, you need to communicate. We were just sitting here discussing the importance of your role. So he had to actually stand in for you yesterday. So mm -hmm. accountability is going to be important. It won't happen next time. OK, so you'll be here tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Or we'll be just holding your banner up and saying that you went to work. <gasps> oh, God, I thought my phone would crack. She wants me to be focused and don't let anything distract me, because once I get distracted, I'm easily distracted. If you don't know, I'm very easily distracted. Sometimes I get worried about Vernon because I want him to be able to do big and better things than what he's used to. There's more than just this little town that we live in. has a reputation for itself. It's a bad school, fights and stuff always going on. Hey, can y'all go, please? Just go. What, I mean, what you waiting for? Just go to class. Why are y'all still here? Hey, no, no, no. Can't go that way. We got that blocked off. Outside school, they think of OW as thug, hood. You can barely go a day without hearing something bad happen, fights, shootouts, or something. There's no level of how, how severe something is, you know what I'm saying? Everything is severe. So they, a girl said that the boy's eye is cut because of the brass knuckles. Yeah, we, we want to block this area off from now on. Tell, tell whoever's supposed to be there, Coach Darby, to be on post. Okay. This is ridiculous. So much for three weeks of business. So here's what I'm going to do. You and your brother are going to get suspended for fighting. I'm going to put them out because we can't find the brass knuckles, but we got witnesses as he has. I'm going to charge him with having a weapon. Putting them out for 10 days with recommendation for expulsion. They're gone. They're not coming back here. So y'all got to kill. This has to stop right here. All right, we've done our part. Keep the ice on. That'll go down. You never know what's going to happen when you come here. The Berg is really crazy. You got some, some people who just don't care. Officer McQueen, come back, please. Where's, where's McQueen? Because some of the kids said that there are two cars coming up here to retaliate. Somebody's coming up here to, f to finish this off. That's what some kids just told me. Well, I just cleared the parking lot just now. Hoping so we need, to, there. we need to keep a uh, watch outside. Two cars supposed to be coming up here to fight these kids. This ain't the safest place to be at all times. It, it, it's just anything crazy can happen at any time. So you got to know your boundaries. You got to know what's safe, what's not. Mr. Jones, uh, I need you to use your cart to be vigilant outside. Um, check the student parking lot and just keep your eyes open out there and alert us to anything that's out of order, OK? One night, I had a gun put to my head. And told, they told me, it was like, if I didn't come up with everything that was in my pocket, they'd shoot me in my head. In America, we've had so many school shootings, mass shootings, that law enforcement believes that if we have an armed police officer in our school, if something like that were to happen, that the school is not totally defenseless. Hi, this is Dr. Peters. Well, what happened is we have video that shows that your youngest son had was in possession of brass knuckles. 
Some of the kids are saying that some of their friends are on the way up here to school. Um, I need you to try to help them to ward that kind of stuff off. This needs to stop. All right, okay, thank you, bye-bye. This is the reality of now. It's a continuous cycle um, that never stops. And you, know, you get me, I get you back. My cousin gets you, my cousins get you back. And it has become a culture uh, in our young society. be too much. Hey, uh, excuse me, y'all need to finish your workout. I don't need y'all to watch the sunshine. <laughs> Cordell, you up? Who's up? You up? I needed a good laugh. My name is Cordell Johnson. I'm a senior. I play football. I'm number 17. And I'm a wide receiver. That ain't 260. That's 255. This is 12. OK, 255? I know you wouldn't see it in the smile now, but I was a terrible child. And I just talked too much, and I was just bad. I was horrible. Cordell was a good friend. I heard, well, not heard of him, but you know, I knew that he played football, and he was on the football team last year when I cheered. Get him done, get him done, come on. Lock it out, lock it out, lock it out, lock it out. <laughs> So Cordell, he always had a, a lot of confidence about himself. I think that was one of his main goals. And he'd be a star at OW. Everybody been telling me since I'm like sixth grade, Cordell, you cocky, you arrogant, you just that in the third. You just two this and two that. He's just a, a, a friend. Three, LBs on three. One, two, three. LB dominate, baby. LB dominate, baby. In Orangeburg, we don't, that perception of us being jocks and just picking on kids is not really like that. We just go to class, man. We trying to survive and stuff, man. We just out here trying to make it to the next day. Come on, Mike. We need to use you if you ain't doing anything, Mike. Come on. Come we need you out there if you're not in the first offense. Here at OW, football as a tool to get an education, not just being a football player. And, you know, I always go to them and ask them, hey, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to play college football? They say, yeah, so that makes me motivate them even more. Hey, hold up, I need another linebacker out here. All the athletic teams, no matter what team, is year round. And that's what we do at OW. Run again. Sure. Everything at OW, athletically, is good. They prepare us for college athletically. But academically, uh, no. Say hi. Um, Coach, what is Herb doing? Oh, man, come on, Herb. I, I know you in that great class. <laughs> I love football. I love it so much, man. I used to take Pepsi bottles, fill it with rocks, and throw it to myself. Somebody play with me. Nobody used to play when I was younger. Slot right, slot right. I've been wanting to play football since I was like five. Stay on this side. In college. I just want to get out of Andre so bad. If I could just, like, you ever seen the Wizard of Oz? And like she just click her heels and just disappear. If I could do that, I'd do that right now. I really, really want to get out of Andre. Uh, what is that? What are you doing, old boy? Is that the way you're gonna run the play? Now, who are you foolish doing this like this? Go to the line of scrimmage, then run the play. Red smart. I mean, red dummy three, man. And that's just what you are just now. I actually, you know, make them go through a lot. And there's no shortcut. There's no easy way to do it. It's a grind every day. Hey, man. 
Coach Brown would not let me talk back or anything like that. I'm in ninth grade. I got in trouble, man. He whispered in my ear. He was like, oh, you like to talk back? I'm gonna be talking to that grass all day. And I had to crab all day. There you go. Yeah. Well, we All right, listen up. You know how crazy it's going to be. OK? Nobody's going to have fun unless we win the football game, especially us. And we got to take care of this business. OK? One, two, three. Be great. Game time, baby. Let's go. It's a big game, and we still got a chance of reading the championship, so this is going to be very important to us uh, to get this win. You know, we've had colleges come in looking for different athletes. This could be the difference in them getting big scholarships based on one game. Everybody else want to show what they're capable of doing. I never really had no goals in my senior year besides making it to college. And it's make or break time for me. Research says it takes three to five years for constructive change to take place in our schools. Unfortunately, we don't have three to five years. We have to change now. And we have to stand up, tired or not, and make a difference. It's seven o'clock or later. Well, good morning, precious princess. Burnt biscuit. So what's the schedule for today? Go to class and it starts at 8, 10. Right, I need to, I'm trying to finish my computer work and my economics work. Mr. Trisecki gave us a whole packet of stuff to do. What's your schedule today? Go to the factory and try to earn some milk for the baby. What's your last child? I am the last child. No, 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 more babies. no. No, you won't. You might have some more babies. What are you talking about? No, you won't. Uh, it might help me to live to be no. 350 or whatever years old. I'm helping you to live to be 350 years old. Yes, ma'am. You see how youthful you look now? That's because of me. All right, me. My daddy is Robert Jones. He supports me in everything I do. I have applied to a lot of colleges. I think I applied to like 17. The career that I want to choose is computer engineering. I applied to Georgia Tech, which has one of the best engineering programs in the world. I think he wants me to go there because that's like in his dreams, I guess, when he was younger and he used to want to be an engineer. And now that it's my chance, it's almost like he wants me to keep striving for those goals. So is that your dream? That is generally my dream, yes. Y'all, I'm going around doing some encouragement talks about testing. Unfortunately, test scores tell the story, whether our teachers are teaching or whether you're learning. And the bottom line is, there's a lot at stake. I know that we will increase our test scores, but we can only do it with your help. So I ask that you join me this morning as we embark on changing the culture at Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. You ready? You feel like you are ready? Okay. All right, we're counting on you. You ready today? Oh, God, no, I'm ready. You ready? All right, do your best. 90%. Good luck today. Good luck. Go get them. You feel great? Feel like you're ready? All right, let's do it for me, OK? Do it for you, do it for me, do it for the school. Start walking. Let's go. I 
just sit here talking, looking, looking at some highlight. Have a seat, man. We're gonna make this attempt to help your dream come true, man. That's that's my goal. You know, I, I know a lot of coaches dream about winning championship, but my goal is to get as many kids that want to go to college go to college. Okay. That's a good play right there, showing some speed, breaking tackles. One thing about receivers, it's a tough position to get recruited in because there's so many receivers out there. You got to show something different. You got to show something special. I think I'm special. Well, I'm a diamond, and I ain't no uncut diamond. I'm polished. You know, put me on a ring right now. I'm, I'm engagement ready. That's how I am. You know, I wish I could promise, but I don't never make promises because that's not real. But, you know, you demonstrated a lot of things and, you know, that show me that you can play on the next level. Six million people playing high school football, only probably like 60,000 of them are going to get into college. But the chances of it is hard. But I mean, I think I am good enough. Yeah, well, that's why we talk about being a student athlete. Because one thing about it, um, you can use it as a tool to get what you want. And basically, that's what we try to make you understand. We're putting that student athleticism first. A lot of people don't get opportunities. So you have to maximize your opportunity. You have to make the best out of every opportunity. Welcoming you to Orangeburg Wilson High School Pep Rally. The atmosphere in the Bruins Den is electric, and we're with them all the way. A Pep Rally is a school gathering where everybody in the school, teachers, students, staff, members, everybody, they just come together and celebrate and like get hype for the game. Everybody going crazy, and it just gets you hype. It's a, it's a feeling I can't describe. Pep rallies are supposed to boost the team's morale and show them that they're supported and that we want them to win. Football players, they work hard for what they get. They, you can tell, like, they put in work to become something successful. It's not just one person from themselves or the other person just go about themselves. It's everybody working together so that we all can be at the top. Football comes down to what's in your heart. If you keep working or you work hard enough, it ain't no telling what, what you can really become. What do you do on Friday night when the lights are on? It's all or nothing. Better than my class, class of 's did run away why she thinking she ran away though instead of something else happening she said because they have had some okay yeah. okay all right this is a mom's phone number yes. is this for me um, yeah okay I'll, I'll call her right know. now so we were just notified that one of our cheerleaders 15 years old mother posted on Facebook uh, midnight 4 a.m this morning that her daughter was missing it's been reported to the police. So we're waiting for an update. Um, and hopefully she's found safely this morning. Officer McQueen, come back, please. Hey. 
Can you uh, meet me at the elevator junction, please? Hey, man. I just wanted to give you an update. This um, student was reported missing last night to the police. And we're looking to see if she comes to school because mom thinks she ran away. She's 15 years old, ninth grade. But let me give you a visual of what she looks like. If she showed up at school, you might want to, we'll call the mom and then you can alert the authorities that she's here. I'm going to call mom now. Okay. All right. Hi, Ms. Wilder. This is Dr. Peters at OW. Good morning. Um, I just got wind of um, Omara's situation, and you didn't hear her leave the house. So what time did you call the police? All right, did you guys have an argument earlier in the night, or what? So no argument, nothing. Well, does she have a new boyfriend or something that you know of? All right, so who are some of her friends? Do you know Diamond's last name? Yeah. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Pretty bad. So I come in with a plan for the day, and as you can see, you never know what's going to come up, and it completely derails that plan. The matter at hand this morning is a 15-year-old child who is uh, missing and hasn't been seen since last night. So they haven't seen her since last night. So the door was locked, bedroom door was locked, but window was open. So she went out of the window. And I'm asking her mom, well, do you think somebody took her, abducted her? Nobody knows. Yeah. So she called the police at 1.30. Uh, so that's what we know, and we're trying to locate the boyfriend now. Who's the boyfriend? We don't know. There's too much going on today. You didn't talk to her yesterday? Yeah, we, we were just talking and laughing and stuff. She, she didn't really say nothing about what she was feeling or anything. We were just laughing. You don't know who her boyfriend is? Some temporary, I think he's a Dominican, I think. Did she talk to him yesterday? Yeah, she texted him and asked him was she um was he going to uh, the parade and that was it. She showed me the messages and stuff, but that was it. What did he say? Did he say he was coming? How you doing? Oh, I'm better Me than too. yesterday. So, how are you? What's going on with you? I mean, I just couldn't stay at the house, so I just left. Did you tell your mom why? Mm -hmm. And what's your take on what she said to you? Mara do things for attention. We don't been through this before. Are you in a testing subject, Algebra 1? Mm-hmm. So you're not being here to take your algebra test. The school gets a zero. So our test scores will be impacted by a decision you made. I mean, the, the more important thing is that you're OK. I mean, not equating test scores to your well-being. But I need you to kind of connect your decisions to the bigger picture uh, about how many other people you affect. Yesterday was probably the worst day I've had since I've become principal of this school. And it was tied to your being missing because I have daughters. I don't want to get to a point where we can't find you the next time. You could have run away the other night and somebody, some serial killer could have put you in his car and your mom never see you again. All right. Give me a hug. All right. Listen, I love you. First thing I told y'all this summer was... Uh, good choices equal good consequences, usually. Bad choices yield bad consequences.
Getting a phone call about students being missing has happened to me four times in my 30 plus years in public education. It takes your breath away. It's the unknown element, so it makes me uneasy. I was just so relieved and happy, not only for the child, but for the family as well. I felt that test, uh-huh, that um, I, I didn't do well. I didn't do well. Final exam, you got 22 questions correct out of a total of 45. You don't have to repeat the whole course. Yeah, mm -hmm. I failed it. It's OK. I try. I, I'm the one that got the failing grade. I get the work, I get how to do the work, but I guess when the test comes and like, it's shut down mode. The fall testing that we got, the results that we got, I um, was not well pleased. Bottom line is, we're going to all be held accountable for oh, yeah. what happens. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. We have a job ahead of us, and it's a tough job, but it's um, something that's doable. People need to know that these students are learning. Ours were not great results. We had students who could have passed if they had two more points. And so when you see that, you're like, wow, we could have been like majorly ahead of the game. It gives us hope. But we have a lot of work to do. I was uh, had to get degrees on this form, on this uh, report card again. She pointed that out. Number one in the class. Check me out. Look at that. Well, congratulations. Ooh. What's the amount of the check that I get for that? Check, go ahead, check. For uh, your being. You get a one. check of the amount of affection I have given you <laughs> for 18 whole years. <laughs> All right, all right. Outstanding. Well done, well done. So and what are you cooking tonight? Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, gosh. Friday Night Lights right here in Orangeburg, South Carolina, 93.7 FM, the people's station for the Orangeburg Wilkinson High School football game. This is a night of excitement and activity for the whole family. Paul, what do you think about it? Man, I'm telling you, it's a big game, Harvey, as OW facing off against the Berkeley Stags, and you cannot forget about playmaker Cordell Johnson. They're expecting big things out of big number 17. Coming for the fight for the night, hey. Oh, you see how we rock. Oh. You see how we rock. All oh, pink. That's how you're walking, man. All pain. If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it right, man. You gotta do it right. We got the realest everything, man. Hey, see that boy right there? That's a boom star. My boom. dog, the Batman on. You're getting light up, baby. That's all I gotta hey, say. Hey, that's what it is. Boom squad. Hey, baby. This is my main man right here, my DB. Yeah, play some one time. Play some, play some. And we got Tariq Thomas in the locker room. Let's get it, let's get it. You already know. Shields in here. Uh oh, oh, hold on. I ain't no love. Game time, baby. Man, muscle up one time. Muscle up, Karen. Muscle up, Karen. Uh, yeah, Karen Ryan. That's the team right there, baby. Hey, it's our heart right here. This football, we love this, baby. Let's go. This is a big year for me. Either I'm going to get a scholarship, or I'm not going to get a scholarship. If you lose, you live the fight again. If you win, you're on top of the world for that moment. 
and we are underway here from Bruin Stadium. It's Berkeley with a kickoff, and the Bruins get the ball. What a start for OW. High school football at OW, it's like everybody that you know and everybody know can be at your game. With your mama, your people that your mama know, people that you see at the barbershop, the chilies that come on, and the band that come in. And it's a great feeling, man. Number 17, Cordell Johnson, ready to receive. Number two quarterback, let's loose. It's long. Johnson in the end zone. Touchdown, Bruins. I love going to sporting events and being a proud Bruin. I want my team to win. I'm behind them all the way. I wish them success. Hey, we love, we love. I mean, I always play with Chip Marshall. Because I think I'm Superman. Anytime OW has needed me, I have come to say the thing. Let's go, Let's go, Let's go 60 now. Read it, Jerry. Read it, read it. Coach Brown calls a quick play. OW driving for the line. Touchdown, Bruins! And at the half, the Bruins lead 14 to nothing. Football is big. That's just how people dream LW. You know, they're going to make it to the NFL and everything going to be all good. But at a certain time, you know, reality hits. We are in the second half, and it's a different side we are seeing. Berkeley are making a comeback, and Bruins captain Trey up the girl, he's down on the field. Berkeley get a break. He finds space. OW missed their man. He's almost made it. Touchdown, Berkeley. It's 14 apiece. Man, this is tight. This does not look good for the Bruins. What are y'all doing? Why is, the, why is the fullback running the track? Gentlemen, we are self-destructing every time. We are self-destructing. We are self-destructing. Every time we get a drive, somebody do something stupid. Touchdown pass to win the game. We don't have it. We'll it. take it. <laughs> we'll take it. Two, three, down it. Oh, I'm feeling wonderful. I'm feeling great for Coach Tommy Brown. For the Bruin Nation. I don't like losing. I don't play this game to lose. It's crazy. Oh my God. Problems. Discombobulated. This ain't no fairy tale high school. This ain't no fairy tale story. Everything is real here. Oh, 
OFW see black people 98% of the time. You share pain, you share tears. We are lifelong friends forever. Teachers, please close our doors. We are in an active call suite. I'm a senior, and it's make or break time for me. I'm about to get ready to leave high school. Y'all going to jail, because y'all in a stolen car. Come on, Roy! Oh! Hey! Bad, a little bit. I'm so proud of you, because I know that you have overcome obstacles to make it through this day. safest place to be, anything crazy can happen. The fall testing that we got, bottom line is we're going to all be held accountable for oh, yeah. what happens. Number one in the class. Check me out. Look at I applied to Georgia Tech, which has one of the best engineering programs in the world. 22 questions correct out of a total of 45. You don't have to repeat the whole course. Yeah, I feel it. It's OK. I try. It's a beautiful day and an important week ahead for Bruins fans. A lot of talk around town about last week's football win with that amazing last minute touchdown. New principal Dr. Steven Peters must be pleased as his year gets off to a flying start. But for now, all eyes will rest on the varsity basketball squad as their first game is just one week away. Good morning, faculty, staff, and students. What an exciting day at Bruin Nation. We have a lot of work ahead of us. We're back to business as usual. We're having a great day at the Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. The hard work we put in the past month is paying off. We've got lower suspensions. We've got better academic engagement. Secretary, how are you? What we're doing is working. I use the illustration of two dollar bills, two American dollar bills. This dollar bill in my left hand is valued at a dollar, and this dollar bill in my right hand is valued at a dollar. But if I change the physical shape and structure and look of this dollar bill by crumpling it up and by uh, throwing it on the floor and stepping on it, what is its value now? It's the same. Why then? Do we treat children who look like this different from children who look like this? In basketball, you know, some people tend to think we babysit all day long. Every time that we get to relate basketball to life, we do that. <laughs> Good shot. Rendo has always been a go-getter. I don't see him not being responsible. I don't see him not wanting to be something in life. <laughs> Rendo, he was inspiring. He was a different type of cat. Yeah, I love him. That's my brother. Good crack. Like, he know a lot of people, and a lot of people know him. I know a lot of people know me, but I want a lot of people to know me like they know him. I got a rock. I got a rock. Rondo's like the backbone of the team. He holds a lot on his shoulders. Rondo is popular with the ladies. But, OK, I don't want to get into that. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> To the top, I'm trying to set me up so I want a knot, yeah. Hey, I want that new cool that drop top so y'all can see me hanging out the window with my... Not my bag down, but I'm flexing with my red side. I can see him looking sad now, I want to smash out. Fair 
Ferragamo, hold my 40, yo, without a standing out. Hey, Rob. Hey, come on, let me talk to you. Watch out, Lee. I just wanted to nip the situation in the bud from the other night, just to move on from it. Let me see. We had, we had an incident uh, where Rendell, uh, he, expe he expressed his uh, anger in the wrong way. Actually, he had, uh, at, uh, at the time, it looked like he got into a little scuffle with another guy on the court. I had caught an attitude late night. I let my temper take me to him where I wasn't supposed to be on the court as a lead on the team. OK. Well, you know, as long as you know, you know, and, and that's the main thing, you know, just like a parent beating a child. If I'm going to beat my child, I want him to know why he's getting his butt toe up. Okay, so what, what do you feel led to the where we are right now? Frustration. Not thinking really before you at. Yeah. Supposed to be the leader of the team, pig. You know good and well there's going to be other situations where you're going to be just as frustrated. It's more than about basketball. It's about life. You know, you're going to get frustrated in life later on. So it's important that you learn how to deal with it, you know. And don't, don't try to live life without getting frustrated. That's not realistic. But you deal with it, and you keep moving on, moving on, moving on. You got to go get it now. And I guess it's more so that now, because my senior, like, the team on my back now. What's up, guys? Ooh, look at the top. Come on, man. Y'all act like y'all messing with somebody you don't know how to dress or something. Come on, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Mr. Don oh. Hey, man, all I need is my goal in my mouth. Now nah, I'll be good. <laughs> Put it home. I know you paid a lot for that. You don't want to know, bro. <laughs> but when you get there, it don't matter what it costs. That's what I'm trying to teach y'all. <laughs> It's just a tie. You need to be very serious, Vernon, because the finish line is right there. All right? And I know you like to play, you like to have fun, but this is a time for you to be very serious yes, about sir. your future. What, what are your plans? Right now, I just have a passion for nursing. OK. Like Beautiful. Have you started applying to well, colleges? Well, I started applying, but I had a change of mind. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to New York where my family is at. Okay. I'm going to a technical college up Who's there. Who's in New York? My aunts. Okay. The reason why I want to go to New York, for one, because it's New York. <laughs> mm. And then, like, by me being a gay male, mm. it's, like, it's, that's where the scene is at for gay males, mm. is in New York. Can't Good wait. plan. That's a great plan. Remember what I said about being serious. Yes. All right? I mean, I'm not telling you not to have fun and enjoy this part of your journey. I can't wait. I'm so excited. All right, we'll see you. I'm going to stay on top of it. Yes, sir. You do the same. All righty. I don't want to be here in Orangeburg. It's nothing in Orangeburg for me. I'm just too big of a person to be in this little town and not experiencing things and going out and seeing different things. Where the gangster over there? Yo. America's biggest gangster. You got K-Love. Got my boy Big Sex right here. You got Swap A over here. I see myself on school as a cool dude. Down to earth, everybody rocking with me. That's just something my family known for. Like, that swag is there at all times. I can't help that. That's something I was born in. I came out the womb with flavor. Wendell has a great chance of getting into college. We have a guy working on his highlight tape right now. Mm -hmm. When that comes out, I send it. I got a list of colleges mm -hmm. that I send out to. And that's the route I'm hoping to go with Rendell. Right. right. And I, I talked to him last week. He was kind of kind of down, you know? And um... he has a whole lot going on. OK. You know, has a whole lot going on, you know, with uh, outside situations, family, you know, that baby and everything. And, uh... What baby? He has a baby? He's expected. Getting one? Yeah. Somebody here mm -hmm. in school? Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. He is the oldest of maybe five brothers. OK. So he helps out a lot at home. Mm -hmm. My dad works out of town. I know just from talking with him in the past, that weighs on him 
more and sometimes more more than others. So college for him is going to be like a vacation. Oh, then. yeah. When when I talked with him last, he said, "Coach, I am so ready to go." Am I the fool ready? Omar, what you want to drink? Get you something to drink and go sit down and eat your food. Right, I want you to go to college, and I want you to be somebody, and I want you to do everything that I did not get a chance to do, or and, and, and the reason why I didn't get a chance to do it, because I had you. I had you. I had you at 16. You have a way better life than I have. You got a lot of people that's out there, you know, rooting for you, you know? So do something that we couldn't do. You know? You just got to try to make it out. That's just something I've always seen since I was little. Like, I know I'm going to play basketball in college. I know I'm going to do this, that, and the third. That's my boy, as long as you make me proud. I mean, with the scholarship thing, I'm just, you're just in waiting process right now. It's going to come. Time. Yeah, yeah it's going to come. Time you'll get it. As long as you keep working hard, like, you know, hard work always pay off. Always. I want the scholarship. It's so many wrong ways you can get the money. Right. I could have been going in the streets, streets. Right. robbing, right. Selling, drugs. selling dope, no. anything like to right. get money. Cause it, I mean, you you probably have about five, six crackheads walk past our house every night. Right. Cause I had so many big cousins to go to jail for drugs, or just because they wanted to support their family. And just think, I'd just be thinking like, if they would have went to school, you'd have had nothing to worry about. You got to do something with yourself. You got to. I'm 17. I got a daughter on the way. So I just want these scholarships. I just, I'm trying to get these papers. It's all. I'm trying to do what I got to do in these books. I'm letting, I'm letting them have it out there on the court. So somebody, somebody's going to see me. Money-wise, he's different from the other prince we had. <laughs> money-wise, that dude got money out of the wazoo. Yeah, that's 60. All right, and I'll get it back for you. All right? All right, tell her happy birthday. All right, it's just money. And uh, God's blessed me with the ability to go out and generate and make it. You know, how fortunate I am to be able to share it with uh, kids that are unfortunate. Dr. Pease is a cool dude. He's a real cool dude. He show love to everybody. If you trying to help yourself, then he gonna help you. I'm gonna be so broke when I leave this place. <laughs> Seriously. Uh huh? What? In the hallways, a child grabs me and says, I need to talk to you. I gotta talk to you. They're telling you you have to move by when? I, I guess, I don't know. Fine, text her back and ask her. See? Wait a minute. OK, so when she texts you back, you see me today and find out what's going on. Keep me posted, all right? OK, all right. So this child works 33 hours a week. So she just told me her mom texted her and told them that she needs to find a place to stay because they just got put out of public housing. They had an inspection and the inspection didn't pass and that she needs to try to find some place to live because the mom says she's taking her little brothers and they're going to a shelter. So she told this child that she needs to try to find some place to stay.
And so are you still, what are you going to major in? Are you still thinking about doing nursing in mm -hmm. any school there? Still doing, still doing nursing. You gotta get you out this golf forsaken city. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not, but I've been here too long. Um, there's a $65 application fee, and <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> okay. $65. Go I'm ahead. confused. Like, how can I have that many absences? Well, if you're more than 30 minutes late, it's an absence. So oh, that might okay, be what it is yeah. for first block. Yeah. There's a September, October. You missed days in November, December. I see you have like February 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. That was like three days back to back. Do you know where you yeah, were those days? Four, yeah. I know. Where I was. You have an excuse? No. <laughs> but I know where I was. Um, this is where you are, um, graduation wise. But that's a D average. Okay. So. You want to have at least a C average going into any school. You want to definitely um, work on bringing that up. Yeah. You talked to your mom? Mm -hmm. You already talked to your mom? Mm-hmm. You haven't heard anything else from her? She texted me, and been, it was just like, let me see what she said. I just told her that I was going to stay with her. So what about your sister? Where is your sister going to stay? She's she coming with me. OK. And you already talked to your mom yes, about both of them staying with you. Yes, sir. All right, and what'd she say? She said it's fine. All right. Take, take that one. All right, text me and let me know if anything happens, you need me to do something. All right, keep me posted. Mm -hmm. It's very nice of you for helping the way you're helping. I mean, that's what life is all about. We're supposed to help each other. All right? Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Timberland, thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Mm -mm. Wow. Yes, ma'am. I was at Ms. Johnson today. She had looked at the college in New York or whatever. Guess how much the application fee is? What? $67. I was yeah. like, for a community college? Like, what? Yeah, that doesn't sound right. But that's what it said on the website, so I was like, oh, God, no. Vernon is older than me, and I scold him like he's the child or he's the little brother. In your situation, cheerleading doesn't really matter. It's basically a non-factor, especially when you're talking about academics. Mm -hmm. So, study, study, study. We met in middle school, actually. Oh, yeah, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> it wasn't until our senior year that's when we bonded like brother and sister. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> I love her. Like, I, I couldn't ask for anything more than a friend like her. Our senior year, he ended up staying with me and my mother. Home sweet home. I was homeless, but what changed my life, like what changed me from acting the way I acted, oh, Breonna Davis. All my junk, dirty clothes, clean clothes, everything. Got the Gucci bag, mommy. My bed is right here. I pull the bed out from right there, and I blow it up. Right here, that just be right here. Big old bed, pillow, flat screen TV. Not mm -hmm. the best TV in the house. Teachers that tell you, oh, that's a trouble child. He ain't gonna do nothing with his life. He just gonna be another bum on the corner. He gonna be stuck in Orangeburg or whatever. But if people knew what I went through, they understand how the reason why I act out. I want to get my PhD. The higher in education you get, the more money you're likely to get. Like, I'm not just gonna, like, sit there and look at the bills pile up. I know that I have to put the work in and ease the debt off my father's shoulders. 
All right, let's hit the trail, Gail. So the finances are tight, but you know, you either find a way or you can find a reason to complain, you know. Gonna do something, I'm gonna do something. And so that didn't take long, did it? See you later. Yes, ma'am. You got napkins? Of course. Have a good day. OK. I made a promise, even as like a kid, I made promises and stuff, and I like to keep my promises. Like, I'll be like, yeah, daddy, we're going to have that and that. So I want to do my best to keep those promises, because they're not just something that I know that he wants. They're something that I want as well. I think I have a good chance. People have said I have a good chance. I believe in myself. All those applications you put in, you're going to start getting these acceptance letters, emails from these colleges. What would be your number one choice? Um, Georgia Tech. Mm -hmm. And so you did your application, and you're just waiting. We're very proud of you. All right? Yes, sir. OK. You can get in, but if it costs too much for your family to pay for your tuition or for your room and board and fees and food, then you're probably not going to be able to go there. I do think I deserve at least one scholarship. At least one. A college education in America right now is more expensive than buying a house. If a student gets out of college and if they have $200,000 in debt and they're only making $50,000 a year, why'd you go to college? I'm trying to play it like, yeah, if I get this scholarship, I'll go to school for free. My mom and daddy won't have to worry so much about me in school. We can just get them out of here and get them home safely today. Why do y'all cuss so much, man? I'm telling you. Can I have a dollar? I don't, I'll have a dollar. Mm. I heard you got some news, man. You ain't share with me. Oh, about your girl. Oh, yeah, my little. I didn't know that. You did? No. So I just I thought, thought you knew that. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Got That's your dollar. girlfriend from a while, though, right? You've been with her for a so you okay? I mean, you should, that'll change your life right there. Mm -hmm. Slow me down a little bit. Yeah, show you down a whole lot. She's still here in school or she takes you home? No. All right, I'm here for you. All right, the good and the bad. All right. All right, guys. All right, Don. This house have every thing that played in of me growing up, being punished, being taught lessons, arguments, turn into fist fights, turn into the police coming, like the stove catching on fire and everything. Like this has so many. The biggest water fight in Orangeburg. And then when the tub broken, we had to go warm water up in the pot. And then we had like a little container that we put the water in. This right here was my mom's room. Can you imagine a mother and three kids sleeping in one bed? This been like this ever since I can remember. See that hole up there on that wall? I punched the wall because I told my mom and them I was gay. And my boyfriend at the time, he texted me. And then my mom tried to text him and play as me. And then he called, he was like, oh, hey, baby. My mom was like, baby? And she got all extra for no reason. Me and my mom, we don't speak as much as we should. 
as a mother and a son, we didn't just break down and just like, don't talk to me and I won't talk to you. We just slowly distanced ourselves from each other. I be getting in my feelings a lot about certain things, but I have to think like, what are you getting in your feelings for, Vernon? Like, don't let this little incident stop you from where you're gonna go in life. I know I got a daughter on the way. I know if I go to college, I don't want like her to want for nothing. I'm still in the process of getting recruited, scholarship. It's a lot, not only on us, but our parents. Like, cause if I don't get no scholarship, my parents still gonna have to pay for college. Your parents still gonna have to pay for college. And just like, help us with the baby until we get on our feet. It's just a lot. Well, I think he'll probably get a scholarship. It's almost game time in the Bruins' den, with just one day to go before the big logo rivalry basketball game. A lot is on the line for this team, but especially for captain Rendell Middleton. What's up, Kev? What y'all? Y'all hurting me, man. I'm gonna give it back to you, Fred. I give it back to you, Fred. Oh, you're so sweet. It's now. 9.45 and I've issued $260 cash today. Oh, wait. <laughs> what cheer are you doing tomorrow? Let him see it. If it's agreeable, we're gonna do the two cheers, go from the beginning to the end. He says good to go, we out. I know her mother's gonna come to the house and get it. <laughs> I'm calling my mom and see if she wanna go. You think she gonna come? I know he maybe wishes that he could have a better relationship with his mom. I think he finds it hard, but he pushes it aside sometimes. <gasps> she not gonna pick up. Hello? Oh Lord. Hello? Uh, um, can you make it to the game? Can you make it? What time the game going to start? At 6, if I'm not mistaken. 6 o'clock. Yeah, you come in. You want to come? Come see. Come see your son. At 6? Yeah. Question. Is what do, we, what do the parents have to do? Do they have to be dressed up or what? No, not really. I feel as though deep down inside, Vernon misses his mom. He wants comfort from her. Hello? I'm good, how are you? What's the matter? Yeah, that's really bad. I, I just helped a lady t this morning. We had to come up with $300 to give her, and I gave every penny I had. But listen, I will see her in the morning if I can help in any way, OK? All right. OK, I will. Take care, bye-bye. parents calling me to help turn their lights back on. I mean, how did we get to this point? I mean, how did we go from, can I, you know, get, to, get a bag of chips to finding a place to live and helping them get money to go into that house to turn the lights back on? I mean, at some point in time, I have to um, draw the line and say, I can't help. And it's, I can't help. Deputies are searching for a man they say is behind a deadly shooting. Our Billie Jean Shaw was at the scene today. Around 2 o'clock, investigators discovered his body in his St. Anne Street home. They say he sustained multiple gunshot wounds to his upper body. One of the seniors, her boyfriend, was also the father of her baby, shot the guy and killed him. And 
the guy that got killed is the cousin of some of our kids. They told him he was in the house. He walked in there, and that's when he pulled out. I and the baby he... was in there. Mm-hmm. And he pulled out the gun and shot the boy. I just don't know what happened. Why we? What made him pull out the gun and shoot him? Some. I don't know if it's game related. I don't know what's going on. Mm. So the body's still sitting. That baby in one year, so that's a newborn. So what changes this, y'all? What, what, what changes this? What stops this kind of stuff, though? How do you stop this from happening? Oh, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. So where are you going when you leave school? St. You usually ride the bus home? Where's St. Ann's? Where the Where it happened? Y'all, want you sure you want to go over there? You oh, all, <clears throat> y'all need to be mindful of what y'all do when you leave school today. All right, Mom. I'm okay. um, seriously. Schools don't have procedures for things like, you know, this, other than making sure that the counselors are ready. If I'm lost, imagine how they feel. You know, I, I'm lost for words right now because I, I, I can't even comprehend what's going on. So. right here next to OW, then of course you're gonna see fighting, you're gonna see violence, you're gonna see drug dealing. There's nothing to do. It's easy to get in trouble. Everybody doing the same thing. Part of being in the streets, man, it's kind of like every man for themselves, you know? Not being able to trust a lot of people, close to nobody, you know what I mean? It's a hood everywhere. You can't just put that to blame. I mean, that does affect people, but also it's about how much do you not want to be a product of your environment? all about tonight, all right? So, you know, I don't want you to get burned out, but you got a million reasons to be turned for this game. I'm talking about when you're tired, you got to pull energy from your toes, find energy from somewhere. Come about 7.30. Game time. Oh, yeah, game time. Right check, right check. Oh, yeah, let's get it right. It's equally important that we celebrate superstars who academically prove themselves in our classroom each and every day. So tonight, we've decided at an athletic event to celebrate those students who have straight A's who've made my principal's list. So join me in celebrating their achievements academically here tonight, please. get that much recognition. Finally, we got a little bit of shine. It was nice. Maybe Vernon's mom would come, or maybe she wouldn't. I tried to keep the situation positive because I knew if I talked negatively, 
he probably would have thought, oh, maybe she wouldn't come or something like that. I was excited and nervous at the same time because I didn't want to mess up anything. And then she was there. It was a really big moment for me. And she brought my sister and my little brother. for both of us, well, all the seniors, basically. God, let me tell you something. As long as we play together, as long as we believe in each other, we can't be beaten. We can't be beaten. That means we got to stand behind each other. That means we got to pick each other up when you make a mistake. And we got to be like that. We got to be a close-knit family, fellas. And I'm telling you like this, the team that goes out there and that plays together and that execute is going to win this game. You got me? Sure. Let's pray. Our Father, Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Right. Team on three, team on three. One, two, three, team! team. Great start so far tonight for the Bruins as they have a 10-point lead. Captain Rendell Milton has got the team fired up for this game. Bruins now on offense. Come on, Ryan! Milton with the layup. It is good. Dogs in the fight now. Now we playing one, hit or miss, okay? Team, one, two, three. Team. Bruins, now on defense. Yeah! They've got to hold on to this lead. Turnover. Quick step. Go to three. Bang, it's good. That's another three ball for the Bruins. I've got to say, folks, right now, this team looks unmatched. There's the buzzer. It's halftime. Hey, we where we want to be, baby. We where we want to be because you know what? All we do is talk about life and getting over challenges and, 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 and just one thing after another. <laughs> Let's go out there right now, seal the deal in the fourth quarter. If you with me, put your hand in there. Yeah. Let's go. Team on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Let's go. I'm not sure what's going on with the Bruins right now here in the second half. They're starting to give away points like it's candy. Can you bet on defense? Middle, middle. Seconds to go. The score is tied at 61 apiece, and the Bruins have given away a free throw. Could that be the nail in the coffin for OW? Bruins with a quick comeback. He puts it up, he scores! The Bruins are back in the game. They have regained the lead. 20, 19, 18. Hold up! and the Bruins lose out by one a heartbreaking loss for OW. Man, that one has to sting. <laughs> well. Oh. Down. 
that shot. Y'all proud of me? Y'all gotta give them something to be happy for. Something, anything. You feel good for something positive. Instead of be trying to come and get me out of jailhouse or something like that, you know? Brenda Middleton, that's the champ right here now. Hey, the champ is here. That's the champ right here now. We gotta take a Hey, the other team, the other team coach came and said, you are an awesome player, Ra Ra. Said, you going somewhere, boy. Hey, that's my baby. You going somewhere and put mama in the new house and move me to California or something. I hope so. You know, I'm praying for something good. Something gotta happen. It's getting real, this shit in 2016 is real for me. I don't know about nobody else, it's real for me, you know. I'm actually really excited for her. I know she's gonna get into Georgia Tech, so I don't know why she's even worried about it. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. How are you Are you ready for the big reveal? I just want to get it over with. I'm very nervous. Nope. It's I didn't get into Georgia Tech. It's pretty tough to get into. And sometimes they don't always pick the best students. Yeah, yes. Angela, bye. I don't like to fail at anything. I don't, failure is not a good feeling. My birth mother passed away when I was in second grade. And she's one of the people that helped me to become the type of person I am today. And I knew that she would just want me to succeed. So that's why I want to succeed, to make her proud. I know she wouldn't be disappointed since I didn't get accepted into Georgia Tech. I know she would want me to keep trying for other schools. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. This ain't no fairy tale story. Everything is real here. LW, see black people 98% of the time. You share pain, you share tears. We are lifelong friends forever. Please close our doors. We are in an active pause. I'm a senior, and it's make or break time for me. I'm about to get ready to leave high school. Y'all going to jail, because y'all in a stolen car. Come on, Rora! Oh! Bad, a little bit. to make it through this 
birthday. Six million people playing high school football, the chances of getting to college is hard. But I mean, I think I am good enough for it. My birth mother passed away when I was in second grade. She wouldn't be disappointed. I know she would want me to keep trying for other schools. He has a whole lot going on. Okay. You know, that baby and everything. And, uh, what baby? He has a baby? He's respectable. Getting one? Yeah. Wow. wow. States and playoffs at all. Go out there competing hard. It's the Reloc Rodney going this way. Yeah. The whole lot of scholarships. We don't win no games, we can't get no looks. You know, I know Rendell is worried and concerned about getting a scholarship. He has to be, because he hadn't gotten those calls yet. Dog it up. If I lose, and that's, that's my last high school game. And like, I ain't been hearing too much from my recruitment process, so it's like. We are deep into the third quarter of this must win game for the Bruins. For Captain Rendell Milton, this could be his last chance to impress college scouts. He drives her to the middle of the lane, he puts up the left handed layup, and count it. It's good. But now, the Eagles are staging a comeback. What is happening to this Bruins side? Come on! No, no! Listen to me! We gonna win the game! Three possessions already trying to do that long pass and By yourself, bro. Come home. We need this, bro. Let's, Let's go. Work, y'all, boy. Let's work. Middle, bro. Middle. The fourth and final quarter of play, and this game is slipping away from OW. Let me tell you, when it's all said and done, it's the end of the season, I want you to make sure that you take some of the things that we taught y'all this season just about life, okay? Even though, you know, you're young and it seems like you're gonna be young forever, basketball is just a small part of your life, all right? But I'm gonna tell you like this right here, I love you guys. We are lifelong friends forever, forever. You share pain, you share tears, I want y'all to use this to motivate yourself. The season is over with now, but one thing's for sure. This is a brewing family. Let us pray. Our Father, John Mayer, I'll be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses. So we had it right there in our hand. What's my next journey in life? What's next?
Wow, look at that line. Yeah, wow. Sorry. This is Mackenzie. Hey. And this is Zaria. Nice to meet you. I'm a little nervous my first day. <laughs> Before you leave lunch, you go to section two and get your bus pass. Yes, ma'am. It's a lot bigger than my other school. It is? Yes. Way bigger? It's way bigger. OW to me is kind of, you know, divided. Every person you see is, you know, black, 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 black. We just had a black president. It's still going on. I'll give you a few quarters, because I have a, a few spares. It's like jail. <laughs> Sausage? Uh -huh. It's a dollar. Yum. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I saw her oh. earlier. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Good. I'm Mr. Gordon. If you need anything, I'm the man you look for. Yes, sir. Hey, kiss your <laughs> It's school food. <laughs> Stay right back. It makes me feel like there's something wrong with me. Yeah. You know? <laughs> really uncomfortable feeling. I am one of the only white people here at this school. It isn't about somebody's skin color that makes them who they are. It's about how they act and how they carry themselves and their morals and values. I'm really, really sensitive to you coming in because this is a school that's 99% African American. And I wanted to make sure that you were, felt safe, mm -hmm. that you uh, embrace the idea that nobody was going to bother you. We just love you. I moved around my whole life, mm -hmm. Dr. Peters. You know, like I am, I do have that adaptive mm -hmm. personality. I had a plan to like make it more, mm -hmm. blend it up a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. Because most parents like send their kids to different schools just so they don't have to, you know, be in a school that's mostly black, which is messed up. The more diversity you have in a in a school, the better it is for for everybody involved. Right, exactly. And I think when you have that mixture, um, there's more positive to take out of it than negatives. You know you can always come to me and talk to me about anything that's bothering you, um, and I'll help in any way I can. Yeah. You're listening to the People Station, and I am in studio with Bruins football coach Tommy Brown. Coach, what's next for some of the top players on your team? Go there. Uh came in our program and developed to receive. Always had a lot of confidence. Works hard in the weight room. He's gotten bigger. He's about 194, 6'3 now. Uh, he has a potential to be a star in the next level. Coach, what is your role when it comes to recruiting? I, I tell some people I actually become like a used car salesman. A lot of cases I call up colleges, I send film. I basically, uh, you know, I try to sell my players. You know, we don't talk about football. We talk about character. We talk about being disciplined in the classroom. We talk about that day where you can sign your name on the dotted line. College is the next step. I want to play for South Carolina. I dream of me being a game cop, winning national championships. This is the University of South Carolina, USC. But this is my favorite team growing up. The people that got money, they go to these camps and stuff and they get exposure. The recruiters can see them first. Bruh, if you ain't got the money to go to them camps, I mean, your exposure is slim to none. This is always the toughest part. Um, recruiting becomes kind of difficult around here. I just want to go ahead and just get out of Orangeburg right now. I want to get out of Orangeburg. Have you talked to uh, Rendell? I've talked to Rendell. Um, has he talked to you about how he's feeling about the 
birth of a baby and all this kind of stuff? Um, I get the picture. He's trying to trying to make it seem like he got control over everything, which, you know, he doesn't really understand what he what he has facing him. I don't think Rendell has a plan. Basically, the scholarships thing is basically like what he's banking on. Right. This is um, this is our this best is, shot at getting him in well, school. Well, you know, I, I sent his uh, his highlight tape to about 20 coaches. Mm -hmm. um, Claflin, we thought we uh, had some things going with them, but uh, you know, they're they're a little slow right now, talking slow. Rendell has a tendency to be so cool, and that's good in a way that he has that kind of resolve. But at the same token, we have to all remember that he's still a kid himself who is about to have a kid. The options that Rendell has right now are not solidified. I worry about the chances of Rendell getting a college scholarship. came for Albert, you weren't here. Recruiting, it's a part that everybody don't know about. Irvin Johnson, that's what I got. I got a Carolina person here. Miss Johnson, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. How you doing? I see, you, man, no, see, I, I got, see, I'm new, see, I'm new. They're looking for players all over the country, so I have to let schools know that we have these kids. I'm just coming over here, man, just meeting folks, you know what I mean? They said the coach of South Carolina ain't been in here, man. So I'm in here just trying to, I'm trying to make that better, man. Man, I get people call me all the time. All right, Ms. Johnson, I'll right. see you. Yeah. In fact, it's Jersey. I know you asked me about Hodel Johnson. Well, I'm telling you, um, he's demonstrated what it takes to play on the next level. I mean, I was excited. As soon as I turned around and saw the game cock from the shirt, I was just dazed for a second. He talked a little bit, chitter chat and stuff like that. He talked about getting me up there. Today, he just came and saw me. It's not an offer. So we don't know if I'm playing Carolina or we don't know what, we don't know what they're thinking. They actually might talk to five, six, ten kids a day, and you're selling the same dream to every kid. This is my favorite food of all time. Right here, macaroni and cheese. This is Velveeta cheese shells, where it's got the real cheese. Instead of the powder kind. I don't like the powder kind. Delicious. So tell me, how are you feeling about the new school? You know, like how I've switched from school to school to school for the past few years because of dad and you living in separate cities. Mm -hmm. Like, I just used to want to make friends instead of being there for my school, and I want to, you know, fit in and stuff. Now it's like I know what I need to be there for. I know what I want, so it's easier for me to concentrate. So you've been able to focus? Yeah. We waited so long to put you in OW for fear that somehow be treated differently than some of the other oh, students. I definitely am. Do you feel like you are? Yes. Really? How so? Just sly remarks, you know. Students can be a little rough. Yeah, I get called times. names. Yeah. You know, I but get... you, you did that in public. I mean, in private school I've as been well. Called, I've been called Snow Bunny. I've been called White Girl. I've been called all kind of pasty, you know, all kind of names. The school system here has become extremely segregated and to the point of where OW, at the thousands of students that are there, you could probably count on your hands Five and toes the number of, of Caucasian students. So she and I decided together that you know what? We're only two little people in but a we little can, small we can start place, a chain but we reaction. Can make a difference. You know what? We want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. So as you know, I'm planning your 16 birthday party. So I know you want to invite several people from your new school. So tell me, Mackenzie, what do you want at your party?
morning. Ooh, look at him. Excuse me. What's up, man? Doing good? What's going on, man? At this point, the, the major schools, uh, if they don't, if they haven't already contacted you by now, the chances are you won't get any uh, any communication with them. All right. Um, first and foremost, everything, everything coming along with the baby. Good. Good. Now, what is she having again? Girl, boy. Little girl. Little girl. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, whatever you are capable of doing to make you know to make things easier for her, make sure you do that. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's just the part of the grown up part that you got to do with this situation right here. And just to talk and make sure that certain things, we're doing certain things, you know, just as far as, um, you know, moving on. I want to make sure that you are um, keeping yourself in shape. We never know who you're going to have to work out for. All right. I just need to be Scottish here. That's all that's going to my head. What's it like being a footballer? Girls, you know, that's the main thing, the girls. If you go for the athlete type, then you have the girls that come after the athletes and stuff like that, and you have that to worry about. I would not go out with a boy from this school. It's like you can't find a nice boy that has a nice brain. I like to shop. I like clothing. I like clothing. I like to dress. I like female. You want to hear a cheesy pickup line? Is something wrong with your left eye? Because you've been looking right all day. <laughs> Hey, I'm in. I'm in. Yes, Cordell. How many times you gonna call my name? I'm saying yes. <laughs> I'm thinking about Aubrey. Oh my gosh. Like, she's so amazing. You know they think you're amazing. Benny Hollis? It's gonna be a date. Oh, he couldn't excuses. He couldn't excuses. You about to leave. You about to go. What that mean? Bye. What that mean? It means you about to, you about to leave. I'm, I'm also about to be a superstar or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also about to be a what superstar. Yeah, let's call Ice Cream. No, because then I'm going to fall. That's fun. No, that's not that's fun. That's the fun part about it. That's not that's fun. fun. That's the fun part no, about it. No, no, no. That on a first date, you don't go ice skating. You go ice skating when you date team. Like, uh -huh. after Maybe like three or four days. Right. A restaurant or something. Uh, okay. I'm just saying. I've been on a date where I had to pay for my own. Ooh. Name your business. So we made some fish. Oh, okay. I did a deal. One. I did a deal. One day. I did a deal. All right. I did a deal. Huh? It's going to be good. It's going to be good. You're going to get it back. Including you, Ashley. Ooh. All right, tomorrow at my party, we're gonna have a bonfire with s'mores and <laughs> you already know. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, I'm about to come. <laughs> and a hot dog and burgers. Hot dogs. And burgers. Oh, I all eat right. burgers. Don't put no onions we're gonna in my have, We're gonna have dance contests for the girls. I ain't with all that. You win a Michael Kors purse. <laughs> we're gonna have a DJ. When? I have to write you some invitations. Hey, we gonna be there. How much cost? We get in. None. None. Just bring me some money for my birthday, yo. Hey, I can do that. I bring, <laughs> I bring, I bring, I bring you two cents. <laughs> I've invited probably like 40, 30, maybe 50. <laughs> so it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be fun. And my boyfriend's gonna be there. <laughs> South Carolina State has a good football team. It's just the fact that it's in Orangeburg, 
and I grew up here my whole life. Hey, man, where are you? I'm at home. Oh, cause I got a gentleman wanting to see you. Okay, so that means if he chased you, told you it's a school, then that means you should have had your body here, right? Man, you all right, big time? You all right? Hey, Let's go. We'll go ahead and sit down and talk. So what's going on, man? Coach Blanchard, South Carolina State. Yes, sir. Yeah, I came watch you play a couple times this year. Yeah. Yeah. So what's going on with you? How the class is going? Yeah. Going pretty good? Yeah. All right. Like I was telling Coach, we might need to see if we can get something done to get you over there if it's something you want to do. All right? Because I see you go up and get that football, man. I don't see people go up and get it like that. Huh? Yes, sir. So when the ball in the air is yours? It's mine. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Now, what what you got going on as far as colleges, anything right now? Nobody really. Nobody really? Okay. I can't promise you any money right now. But y'all grades and stuff are pretty good. Yes, sir. All right. So we can work out a way where we can get something taken care of where you don't have to pay so much. And, and we might see if we can do something else for you, too. you too big of a talent not to come and talk to now. Mm, it's an opportunity. That's all, I, that's all I'm saying. It's an opportunity. South Carolina State is a HBCU. HBCU stands for Historically Black College or University. They created schools so that black people could go to college and get an education because they weren't allowed to go to the white schools. And PWI stands for Predominantly White Institution. The world is not black. The world is not what you see. Black people are a minority. The majority are white people. So I wanted to go to school so I can interact with them and, you know, become cool with them. I don't want to just be around, you know, black people the whole time. It turned out that I did not get into Georgia Tech. Ah! The main reason why I wanted to go to Georgia Tech was because I wanted to go to one of the top engineering schools in the country. And I thought that would be a great setting for me. I thought it would be, I thought it would set a great path for my future. Ah! Ah! It is okay to be disappointed. You can even mourn, so to say, for a little bit, but you shouldn't linger in it like for weeks and weeks and just cry just because you didn't get into a certain college. You got to keep moving. I thought, you know, South Carolina Game Cups was going to come off of me, but they didn't. I'm mad how other people get in office. I don't want to be here at all. Get me? I'm ghost. I'm out here. Finito. You got to get away, man. Got to get away. Yeah, it's just going to be crazy. I, I ain't saying this is a bad city, but uh, I just can't do it. I can't do it no more. I dream of being a game cop, but it was a dream. You have to look realistically now. You have to be real with yourself. I know he's hurt, and I wish I could say something to him more and let him know that, you know, things are going to work out in spite of this disappointment. Then there is Jesus uh, calling us to join him uh, in the beloved community that Martin Luther King Jr. envisioned. Uh, you I think people with Jesus broken families can still achieve their goals. If you apply yourself, and believe in yourself and find people who believe in you as well, then you can almost do anything. A lot of our kids here at Jones Chapel are very talented, amen? amen. Let's give our young people a hand. We love all y'all. 
In 15 years, I say you grow up in this church. But you know, we were in at the Southeast Region Youth Conference a few years ago, and Jelena competed for a pageant there. And she pulled out a violin. All right. All right. Yeah. And it was all over. Yeah. She could... Well, good morning again, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I was just saying to my wife, is there anything that girl can't do? <laughs> so I know she's embarrassed now. She's <laughs> but um, oftentimes we hear people talk about a standard of excellence. And everybody wants it, but very few people are showing other people what it looks like. I have applied to a lot of colleges, and I only have two responses. One was a rejection from Georgia Tech. And this Friday, I'm supposed to receive a reply from the University of, Fo of Florida. Do you think it's just like, what do scouts, I know they look at you, but do they look like really into you? Like your personality and stuff? Yeah. You know? That's one thing I don't get. They should care less about that. You know where I really like want to go? I want to go to HBCU. My top three choices are HBCUs. PWIs aren't for me. Let me ask you a question, though. How many universities are HBCUs there, all right? It's probably like 30 to 45. Mm -hmm. Either way, they're less than the PWIs. Yeah, they're less than PWIs. So if you're less, what are you? Minority? I don't care about minority. You got a problem with, like, PWIs? No. I want to go to one. You, like, half black, half white, ain't No, you? I'm not. You always black? Yes. Dang, dog. You is, like, super light-skinned. You might not be a minority. You might be a majority. I am a minority. You see my mom, and you've seen somebody, my dad. Somebody in your family white. Nobody in my family is white. The last time you saw, as an Donald Trump. He really didn't know what people go through. I think this whole thing is just for show. Like, it doesn't even seem like a campaign. It just seems like reality TV. And then if he really gets president, we're going to be in trouble. But then when Barack Obama, what he did, kill Osama bin Laden. He lowered gas prices. Lower gas, yes, Lord. Everything that he promised he was going to do, he did it. You know what the best thing about Obama is? What? Michelle. Oh. <laughs> you just don't have a good explanation. You want to know why? Why? But how every great man is what? A great woman. Thank you. What do you have to say about that? Is that sexist? No. I mean, it's like she has to have a man with her to be great. She just can't be great alone. You get what I'm saying? Like, for example, Hillary Clinton, they still dragging on Bill Clinton. In a way, they're speaking for minorities, but in a different way, they're not speaking for minorities. I think they care about minorities. I just want them to care a little bit more. I just wish it was more like opportunities for blacks. You can't choose where you're born in, the city you're born in. No. You can't choose your parents. You can't choose if you're in poverty. It's how much do you want to beat the odds? Do you want to make an orange bird? And to get to the point where they're in college or anything. There's kids at our school that's struggling now. You know, the no daddy, single mama. Well, so you saying it like that, I guess I'm a part of the story. It's hard. He's focused on getting out of Orangeburg, which most people want to do. I don't know if he was trying to make a decision or what. I think he should just stay here. I still want to go to school. I still want to go to college. If I did get the scholarship, it would take a burden off my back. 
Do you think all of those kids in that school got scholarships? No. I, but I know people who doing it, though, right now as we speak. People like Isaiah, Puff, Fred, Sean Bay. I mean, These full scholarship players who I played with. Okay, you looking at reality. The reality is, okay, man, I ain't got no scholarship, so what you do is when you get to school, you're going to have to do it like men do. I can't get a part-time job and play basketball there. You you don't know that yet. It's not gonna happen now. Yeah, but I'm just saying you don't. You have. Have you been ever seen yet. it happen? I, I haven't been there yet. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> a lot of college players get a lot of stuff there that you don't know about. Yeah, you still talking about the scholarship? Not saying it to be rude or not, but you can't put yourself in my shoes if you're not in my situation with a, a full baby, a little girl who gonna need milk, diapers, food, clothes. What, Dad, can, you, I what can you possibly tell me about money with a child? I got not, five boys. Not saying with a child. You want to be able to provide for your daughter? Yeah, that's the whole purpose of you going to school, so you can be able to provide for her. You think I'm just want to walk around campus, ain't got no money, just playing basketball? No, you're going to have to have money. Right, Dad. But money don't make you a man, Rob. But, Dad, I'm not saying money make you a man, Dad, but you acting like you just don't need money, period. Yeah, you need it, but you, you got to have... You need money. You got to have everything to go with the money. You know You can't... That's just like you saying, I'm a man, but you broke. If you broke, you a joke. Simple. No, if you broke and you're not doing nothing, you're a joke. But if you broke and doing something with yourself and trying to get somewhere, that's a winner right there. You cannot fold under pressure at all. If you let all that stuff stress you out, you will go crazy. There's a lot on my plate. Like, I'm trying to contemplate my next move. from University of Florida came today. Dear Jelena, congratulations on your admission to the University of Florida for the fall 2016 term. It is a pleasure to welcome you to UF and its distinctive community of le learners, leaders, and thinkers. During our review of your application, the committee was impressed with your outstanding academic and personal achievements. Ooh, fancy. It shines. I want to go out of state. I want to go. What? I'm excited. Hopefully, I can go here. I'm kind of proud of myself, but getting into college and being able to pay for that college while you're there, there are two different things. The tuition on average in America is around $30,000 to $40,000 for a year. And that's just tuition. That's not including the room and board and fees and books. It's a scholarship application to see if we can get more money. They're asking for background stuff. So what have you done which shows that you will do well at their school? Because they don't want to give anybody money that won't drop out, mm -hmm. which makes sense. I mean, it's not a matter of bragging. It's just that they don't know what you're doing. And if you don't put it out there, they won't know that you're worth the scholarship. OK. So put it all out there. I'll tell you if you're overdoing it. I'll just sketch it up. <laughs> <laughs> I treat her like she is mine. Sometimes I'm pretty harsh in my criticism, but it's, it's only to make her better and make sure that she gets you know, where she needs to be. Signing day is when high school players choose what college they're going to and sign in names. South Carolina State is in Orangeburg. The coaches told me they want me on the team, but they don't have no money. Right now, you got a legitimate chance of forming a relationship with this coach and saying, I'm, I'm going to commit to South Carolina State. 
I guess now, you know, we're down to a point of making a phone call to say, we're ready to move forward. But then I just heard you say again, I think something else is going to come through. Oh, they might offer me a full scholarship. To I mean, see what happens. They give me a full scholarship. I'll sign now. On Saturday. But they're not doing that. All right, so I'm going to give them a call. Hey, Coach Pugh, how are you today? Oh, I don't know. I guess I'm touching base with you to see what direction we're going to take on my student. OK. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Mm -hmm. So they're going to put a package together as a walk-on because he, he's run out of his money for scholarships. It's the same kind of situation Coach Brown had. And he had a stellar career. Congratulations. What are you um, anxious about? Nothing. I think we're at a point right now where you have to make a decision. my phone and it's all I bet someone picked up the stairs really think it's a mistake Heather don't stress too much I'm gonna ask everyone to please help me find this telephone if I see it I'll give it to you just ask everybody if they have it oh no we just lost two more hello whoever whoever took the phone you're not a very good person and I promise you I promise you. Oh, my God. Veronica's going to turn it off, and you're going to get in trouble for it. So if you have the phone, kindly go give it back to her now. But well, Mackenzie, it's gone. I mean, one of your friends well, stole mean, it. I don't know who did it or why. I don't, I don't understand. She could have checked their pockets or called the cops. We didn't do that. I got a chicken bone. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Do you know who it was? Kevin, yeah, which one tried it? Who was the one that did it? Well, I don't understand what happened. Who got hurt? Somebody got caught smoking marijuana hey, in the house, apparently. Mm -hmm. And Mackenzie's uncle caught them. And there was just, like, a lot of conflict. He just stepped to me out of nowhere and he tapped me on the shoulder. I looked back at him, and he was like, um, if you have any marijuana around my niece, I'll kill you. What did he say to you? Tell me what he said. You told him about smoking in the house, and that you, you caught him again, you killed him or whatever. That's right. And what did he say? Nothing. He walked out the door. I told him now. That's the brother-in-law. If he quit smoking that weed around here, I would kill him. And I'm telling you right now, I got on my side that I'll protect All right, that is ridiculous. It's a party. But you said... Brianna, let it go. It's a girl birthday party. Y'all still over here arguing about something? Let me tell y'all how I'm a high. Let me show you how you high. No, I'm messing with him like that. I mean, I don't know him. I see him. I told him. Let it go. Not in this house. But he did not bring no weed, so you said it's a wrong person. It's sad. Her birthday party has to come to this. 
sad, is what it is. Very sad. Today is National Sign Day for Orangeburg Wilkinson student athletes. Lives change right here on this day. You're gonna have difficulties. You're gonna have a bunch of things that come at you. You can't make no excuses. People that make excuses become woulda, shoulda, coulda people. And I really don't wanna become that. The day you sign your name, you start the next chapter of your life. These young men have been blessed to have an opportunity to play on the next level. It shows that what we're about, it shows what kind of students we put out into this community, into this world. Thankful for the families, we're thankful for the athletes, and we're thankful to get to celebrate with them because today they start the next chapter in their lives. We got uh, James Valdez going to North Carolina State. Uh, we got Darren up the ground and Cadiz Walker. Nothing is guaranteed. So when a school comes in and say, hey, we like you, we want to offer you, that's big. Wanted to play football. That's that's my goal. I love the game so much. And Cordell Johnson <laughs> is going to my home school. So they're going to be Bulldogs. That's great. South Carolina State, they gave me a shot. They want me to come in and start. And if I do good, they'll give me a full scholarship my second year. <laughs> You're proud of him. I'm always proud of him, always. Every college had the same opportunity to come and sign me, but they didn't. So I want to make State feel like they made the right choice. And I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to do. And just, you know, do what I've been, I've been born to do. Hey, we got it done. What a fiasco. You know, the sad part is none of them get to come to school tomorrow, or the next day, or the next day. Gosh, once you pull a trigger, like the bullet's out of the gun. I'm scared. I don't want to be a failure in God's hand. Y'all going to jail? Yes, ma'am. Because y'all in a stolen car.